There's a term I love in life, synchronicity. I define that as chance with a purpose. And one fateful night, my life would change forever. Uh, I was flying from Chicago here to Grand Rapids, Michigan. It was United Flight 664. Finally get on this airplane, I walk through first class and um, I see this kid, he catches me off guard because he's a corporal sitting in dress army greens. And I go sit um, and coach and about an hour and a half or so later, we land in Grand Rapids, Michigan. As we pull up to the gate, the captain comes over the PA and um, says that we have an American hero on board. And my mind immediately jumps to this kid in first class, right? And it's like, what did he do? I'd just gotten back from uh, my second tour of duty in Iraq flying the F-16. And um, he continues the captain by uh, informing us that we are carrying the remains of Corporal Brock Buckland on this flight. And his identical twin brother, Corporal Brad Buckland, was in first class and has brought him those 7,000 miles home. Captain makes another request that everybody stay in their seats until his remains are removed from the right cargo hold. And um, that night I watched um, the other side of war. Uh, as I looked out on the tarmac, uh, the Bucklands on the darkest night of their lives. Uh, the thing that really got me though was his, uh, his four-year-old son. Sat right below the cargo ramp as that American flag draped coffin inched down. And the finality of the sacrifice hit me. Um, the realities that this young boy would never play catch with his dad again. He would never be tucked in at night. And that term freedom isn't free didn't mean anything until I witnessed that. And as the ceremony finishes itself up, you know, I wipe away my tears, right, and I grab my backpack and I look back to the airplane only to see that more than half the plane had gotten off. No place to go except that blanket of freedom we'll all sleep under each and every night courtesy of one percent of this country that suits up every day willing to defend and pay the ultimate sacrifice for the other 99 percent and that was my moment of synchronicity i knew with every fiber of my being that god had called me on a mission